Today we're talking about the Google Ads search term report. What is it, where do I find it, and how do I use it? Let's get started. Hi, my name is Mike Mancini. I'm a Google Ads agency owner for the last 10 years. So the Google Ads search term report is extremely valuable when you're running Google Ads. It can not only tell you what people are looking for that you don't already have in your account, but also what people are looking for that you absolutely don't want. We'll walk you through that right now. Let's hop into an account. In this particular instance, we are talking about a local sprinkler system or irrigation company. All right, so once inside your campaign, what you wanna do is you wanna go to keywords, open that up and go to search terms. So what this is, is these are search terms. These are exactly what people have typed in to find your ads. So for example, people have typed in sprinkler systems, that exact keyword. You'll see some phrase match, irrigation company in Woodbury, Minnesota. That was a phrase match. So meaning they could type in Woodbury, Minnesota irrigation, irrigation Woodbury, those different kinds of keywords. This will be kind of a catch all. Irrigation installation near me, sprinkler system, right? You can see that these are some decent keywords. However, you can see the ones that we have added. Irrigation company near me, irrigation system installation, irrigation system, sprinkler systems near me. You get the idea. You can see the green check marks. This is a newer campaign and we did not add sprinkler systems because sometimes that tends to be more looky-loos. But what we see by the search term report is this exact match irrigation near me has four conversions at a really good cost per conversion. Now there's only been two clicks at four conversions. That means somebody clicked the ad twice. Um, so that might not be 100% reliable, but it's had 63 impressions. That might be something that we want to add. Now, if you want to see what keywords caught these, all you have to do is go over here to columns, modify columns, go down to attributes and click on keyword and apply. And over to the right, you'll see the keyword that caught these keywords. So for example, somebody typed in irrigation company near me, we already had that keyword, right? But irrigation near me, Google sent it to our ad for sprinkler company near me. But you go down here and you see some others like Rainbird Sprinkler System. This is a brand name. So the Google ad search term report is awesome for helping you decide or figure out other keywords that you could add into your campaign. But probably the most important function is helping you figure out what keywords or what search terms are driving traffic to your campaign that you don't want it to. Let's use this as an example, Rainbird Sprinkler System. Let's say that our client does not sell Rainbird Sprinkler Systems. We want to make sure that our ads do not come up for that actual search. So one way to do that, you could take Rainbird and you can go up here to keywords and negative keywords. You can click the plus sign and you can add it. And if it's uh, multiple keywords, make sure you surround it in quotes, but you want to make sure you put every version of it. So if somebody types in rain bird or maybe just even bird that would catch every version of that keyword or birds. We want to make sure we also add the plurals and then you just click save. But if you want to add this as a keyword, all you have to do is check on it, click add as keyword. It will add this, but it will add it as a broad match, which you do not want to do. I usually will put this in quotes. So rain bird sprinkler system in quotes and it will add it to this ad group. And you can put an optional max cost per click. But one of the first things that I do in every single campaign that we look at is we will go in and look at the search terms. And sometimes you're absolutely shocked at what you'll find. And it might happen to you. You might open that search term report and be like, oh, I don't want those kinds of searches. That's what this report is made for. My advice is don't worry about it. You've learned what you don't want. Go up to the dates, make sure you select all time if you haven't done this before, and go back and make a list of all of the searches that you do not want. If it's a single word, you can put it on that list. If it's multiple words strung together, make sure you put those quotations around it so it looks like a phrase match keyword. But the search term report is extremely valuable because it can tell you not only what kinds of keywords you could add to your campaign that are working, but what kinds of keywords you don't want. So I really hope you got some value from this video. If you did, just please do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, let us know down in the comment section below as that kind of determines the next kinds of videos that we make. And if you want some more Google ads, tips and tricks over to the right hand side, you will see some more of those. Thank you so very much for watching. I always greatly appreciate it and we'll see you next time.